How are you guys? Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into it. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign, Venus Sign, wherever Taurus influences your chart, you can actually apply these energies for the week ahead. So let's see what's going on for the next seven days, Taurus. Please note that there is an extended video. The link to it is in the description box below. That's where you'll find like a full tarot card spread as well as a romance reading. <sighs> Crowning your energy, Taurus, what came out first is know your worth and be loyal to what you love. Maybe you've been trying to be something that, that maybe you've been trying to be something that you really aren't. And this is a return to your authenticity. This is an energy of feeling like you have to be somebody to, in order to be loyal to somebody, in order to Im, not impress them, but live up to their expectations of you. You have to be, you have to live up to what they, their image of you is. Um, do you love this person and you know that they love you? So there's an, an aspect of it, that, that this is attached to your loyalty and your expression of loyalty to this person or this organization that you have to sort of keep on a specific face. But underneath, you're more awkward than that, aren't you? You know, your beauty lies in a hidden strength. Your beauty lies in your adaptability. Your beauty lies in your capabilities. But it doesn't necessarily lie in, I mean, Listen, you do like to appear well, you do like to dress well, you do like to show up and, and play the role. No, you, you like to show up looking good, but you don't necessarily like to play the role. And there is an aspect of having to play at something and not really completely and totally feel like you are every, like you are realized for who you are. There's part of you that feels diminished or feels hidden somehow, caught underneath or obligated to be something that isn't completely authentically you. You're a little bit more awkward than everybody thinks you are. Um, and I do think that you want to share that. There is an honesty to this deceptiveness, if that makes any sense. There is an honesty. Um, there's, in other words, it's, it's like uh, good intentions is what it is. Um, to make somebody happy, to make sure that they feel good. Um, as opposed to, but what about you? You know, and that's, that's what I say all the time. What about you? It's not about selfishness. It's about self authenticity. And, um, are you denying yourself in order to be something for somebody else? This is also the energy of attracting somebody that may be a very opposite from you or may not be fully completely compatible for you externally the colors are all the same but internally you're very very different people neither of you are right and neither of you are wrong there's just this energy of being wrong for each other and maybe trying to fit into um their role or fit into sort of the clothing that you have to fit into in order to you know in or order to be with them, um, not with them, but yeah, it, it, but it, it, in order to fit in with them. But there's this energy of, but why? Why is that necessary? Um, even if you two aren't, you know, I'm sorry, Taurus, forgive me. Even if you two aren't necessary, like, even if you two aren't cut out to be compatible in terms of, you know what I think it's not even about incompatibility that's why I stopped myself it's that maybe you don't see the ways that you are compatible right now yes you're different absolutely but you don't so stop trying to make yourself seem less different you know start trying to make yourselves sort of you know he's dressed in flowers and you're dressed in flowers it's almost like you like the same things that's what makes you most the same you know how you see the world black and white could be uh makes you the same Yes, you're of a different species, but there's so many different qualities about you that are the same, that you think you can like dress yourself up into flowers and that, that somehow you'll fit in with everybody else and the two of you are just oddballs. And yes, maybe you don't even fit in with each other, but because you don't fit in anywhere, you fit in with each other. There's that feeling of just being silly and being oddballs together and finding that right person. That's a cute energy. I love that, actually. That's the energy crowning your reading. So I'm wondering where this reading is going to go, Taurus. Let's see. Let's see what other cards come out for you. This is Taurus energy. Um, no, I don't like that. It was a sloppy way for the cards to come out. This is Taurus energy. Let's 
sun, moon, rising sign, Taurus energy. Let spirit be your guide. This is you following your intuition, following your internal instincts, almost primal instincts, but it's a primal instinct that's led by spirit. So this is, a, this is an authentic spiritual connection, a sense of spirituality. Um, being one, being in tune with your intuition. Uh, so it's, it's following your wild side, following your raw self. But it's not wild as in uncontrolled. It's wild as in still connected. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's not 32 equals 5. So there's, there's a difference. There's a difference here. And it's, there's a beauty, but it would be a raw, natural beauty. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be glamorous. But you guys can be, you, can, you guys can be very into glamour sometimes. But I don't think... In terms of, I it's almost like, it's almost like that feeling that you get when somebody has like their bed head and they just woke up and they're the sexiest ever. That's kind of this energy of there's this, there's this beauty. There's this unbridled, unbridled, untamed beauty about your soul about how you are and, and what you are attracted to. Um, and for some of you, this could be the person that you're attracted to, but there's this unbridled nature about you. Um, and I know it seems like Taurus, you're so blocked in and, 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 but you're not closed off. You, you may, you may be, <laughs> you may be, uh, living in a square, but you're not closed off. You're very, very connected. And this is probably the two of you having something in common with how you connect to spirituality. Um, how you sense the spirituality in each other. I want to get more cards. I want to keep pulling more cards. Life is speeding up. There's a lot that's hitting you this week that was unexpected. Uh, and you just got to hit, hit the ground running. It's almost like you're running so fast now, though you don't feel as grounded as you could. And you're trying to see things from a higher perspective, from the aerial perspective, because you want to make sense out of those things. You want to see it in that black and white way and make some logic out of it, color code it. You want to organize it so that it is somehow palpable for you, but it is happening all at once and it is kind of difficult. This is also the energy of two becoming one, double helix, which is life. Um, yes, it could be pregnancy, but I feel like this is more getting together, coming together with somebody who is a lot like you, maybe people who stand outside, very loyal though, very, very loving. Um, but there still feels like this energy of, <sighs> not fitting in, feeling like things move too fast and that somehow you're always the one that gets left behind. So I just heard giraffe see the bigger picture this week definitely has to do with looking at things from a, an aerial perspective uh, looking at things from a higher point of view nine plus two is eleven eleven one plus one is two there's a two card here um, there is somebody there this is a coupling of some sort maybe you had seen this you kind of knew or felt like it was coming maybe you felt like this person was interested in you you could be dealing with a Gemini you could be dealing with a Cancerian um, feeling like you knew this person was, oh, that's what it is. It's almost like you knew this person was attracted to you or wanted to be with you, but you weren't necessarily sure how they would live up to your family's expectations or they didn't necessarily live up to your initial expectations because you had expectations that were a little bit, little bit they were just different from what who this person is. But there's definitely this, this uh, energy of the two of you seeing things from in the same way like caring about the same things this is very much Taurus energy so you could be dealing with another Taurus but it's grounded it's grounded but it's aerial it has that perspective of being like tethered like the tree of life and yet it reaches up to the cosmos this connectivity is similar in the both of you. Sing your own song. Somebody is singing your praises or you're singing theirs. And you're definitely loving life. Uh, maybe calling somebody to you. Um, this could actually just be music in general. Um, you finding your voice. You being able to sing and share yourself through song. 
uh, self-expression initially. Uh, essentially, that's what this is. But it's definitely loving and being attractive. This is a Gemini energy again, um, which is exceptional communication. So there is there is this vibe of somebody knowing what to say to you and being able to phrase it in a way that is digestible to you and comprehensive. This is a reading, oh, whose was this? This was, I think, Gemini's reading. I'll actually attach Gemini's reading to the end of this video so that you guys can watch it. But there's definitely this sense of things picking up or catching your eye, somebody catching your eye and things starting to move progressively and fast with this individual that may be a little bit dangerous in your perspective, but not dangerous in terms of breaking the law or things like that, but dangerous in terms of they're unpredictable. And um, the miracles are endless. So this is definitely a good combination. This is understanding where you're headed, what direction that you're going in in life. I think that you found your direction in life and it could have something to do with music. And I, I think that you are fitting into, maybe if not with one person in particular, but with you're, it's almost like you're finding your tribe and your tribe doesn't look the way that you expected them to look. Though there is a lot of earth energy here. It is rapid and especially with this card here, it's it's picking up. It's, it's, it's willing to take risks and not have to have everything plotted out. But the truth is you've already seen this. This is something that you've wanted in the future. This is part of your perspective of your future. And in fact, I think in the next seven days, if you've been confused about which way you're headed, it will become very, very clear to you exactly which way that you're headed. Taurus. Um, a rebirth is assured. Things are going to get better for you. Believe me, there's change coming. That's five again. And this change is a good change. Once again, this is a bird of flight. This is scorpionic energy, almost like um, becoming somebody new. Um, somebody that doesn't that, that, that doesn't that doesn't care as much about being externally refined as they do about being connected to what really matters to them. And I feel like this week you've found your purpose in life. There's, or, I mean, if you've already found your life purpose, you found a way to apply it. Um, yeah, you found a way to apply your life purpose in the, in the 3D world. And you're, you're, you're undergoing this beautiful change. You're undergoing this sort of coming out and coming to life as, as you, as, as who you are. And I think a lot of that has to do with meeting somebody that helps you, supports you, understands and knows and is not afraid of the real you. You could also be chasing somebody that is inevitably going to hurt you. That's another reading for these cards. You are never alone. But there you go. This is about a love. This is about a love match. So it's almost like you could be, let's put it this way. Don't chase the person. If there is actually a love interest, don't chase them. You don't have to chase them. In fact, you'll get a lot further along with somebody who you don't chase, who you actually call into you by things that you have in common, by just letting them feel secure and safe around you and um, singing their same, singing a song, like, sing, like speaking the same language that they speak. That's what's really going to enable this connection between you. If you chase them, they will defend themselves against you because they are a defensive person and you won't like, the, you won't like this defensive part of them. You won't. But if you just show your loyalties and show your heart and show how much you care, um, and you show what you care about. So exchanging ideas and exchanging dreams this week is going to bring you closer to somebody that you care about because it's not about chasing them. It's not about wrestling them down. They're not a rabbit at the dog track. I tell you right now, if this dog chased this skunk, it's not a rabbit at, a dog, at the dog track. They're not going to be happy with what they grab a hold of. You can't chase the skunk. Because the skunk will retaliate in a way that will make dog very uncomfortable. Okay? So what, and this could be you. These energies could be reversed. So what you're going to need is somebody who is 
just essentially their character. It's not their pursuit or their ambition, but their character is what's calling you to them. Because you may seem, you know, you may have thought that they were eccentric or a little bit fearsome, um, but it's who they are underneath all that, sort of their true self. Nothing hidden, everything revealed. Their, na their most natural raw state of self is what you connect with and what you what you love the best. Mm. Let's get the grounding energy for you guys. Let's get the grounding energy for you. Spirit has your back and it's time to heal. What is this about, Taurus? You ever see that poster of the eagle, of the eagle capturing the snake or the hawk capturing the snake because they feed on snakes. So if there was some sort of threat or some sort of danger, you've sussed it out. You've found it. You've discovered it. Um, you've, you've, you've definitely got your eye on either helping somebody to heal or healing yourself this week. Um, but this is all have to do with self-acceptance. Um, this is also having to do with like, uh, being able to overcome a challenge, especially if you were having some sort of legal trouble or issues with an institution. I mean, look at this two and three adds up to five. And this is five, five, five plus five is 10. And then one is a new beginning. It's a new start. It's a new change. It's a change in you because I feel like, I feel like, I feel like in some ways, if you're going to stand out, then you might as well stand out in front. And maybe you've just realized that about yourself, that you feel alone a lot, or maybe you feel odd because you're a natural born leader. And it's a very healthy thing for you to have accepted about yourself because then you won't have that expectation of people getting you or a lot of people understanding you. This is a really interesting message for you. Let me turn the camera angle around so we can review the cards. Hold on. So Taurus, here you are, your crowning energy, um, wanting to make things comfortable for other people and sort of trying to compromise or being willing to compromise parts of yourself in order to, in order to make people feel comfortable around you. But the truth is you are, you do stand out. And there is something different about you. And once you accept that, you find this higher purpose. This is the grounding energy of healing, of healing that need to be one of the crowd because that's not who you are. It's just not. The central energy here is finding yourself, appreciating yourself, knowing your own self-worth. But that means, uh, and five, five, there's so many fives here. It's like, changing your perspective on yourself, understanding you and letting who you are all hang out. There is this also energy of finding somebody who helps to inspire that in you, help somebody who is helping you see the best in yourself and believe in who you are inside and getting a chance at a love relationship that honestly you didn't see coming. This is sort of an awkward position to come from a relationship at and almost like underneath, you didn't expect it. But like I said, if they had charged at you, you would have defended yourself, you would have retaliated. So it almost like, in other words, and, and no, you wouldn't have been violent. I don't think, I just think you would have blocked it or denied it or not allowed yourself to feel it. But there's definitely a common connection between you and somebody else. And I think that has to do with the fact that you communicate in a very clear way. There is some sort of, um, there's, there's just a musical aspect to the both of you. you. Maybe you like the same music. You went to the same concert. Maybe you met at a concert. Um, but I think this is more that you just, the, your, your likes and the way that you communicate and how you treat others is very, very similar. And that could have started off as friends in a very natural way. And then it moved on to something more. But there's definitely this energy of you finding you and then being able to move forward with somebody else. Oh, 
This could be energy of somebody coming back from your past and finally learning and seeing you or finally realizing that there's something more than just a friend. Or they're finally realizing that you're something more than just a friend. There is also this energy of changing the perspective on how you see yourself. And because you've changed the perspective of how you see yourself, you also change how you see this person. Um, there, if you were having any kind of trouble, uh, any, any kind of um, legal battle or battle with an institution like, um, not your marriage, but more like um, an office or a company or something of the sort, you are healing and you are conquering it. Definitely the ego feeds on the snake. So it's like they're getting sustenance and they're being able to find a purpose or a usefulness for what was once threatening them. So there are no threats on the table above the crowning energy, but I feel like this is where we're starting from. This is where we're springing from of seeing something go right that we thought was going to go wrong. And that sort of liberating us, almost liberating us from any kind of requirements that we needed or we put, put or you had put on yourself, Taurus. Um, requ requirements that really didn't suit who you really are, authentically who you really are. And then being able to just sort of come out and, and show everybody um, and, and not sit there and worry about uh, what they thought about you. Um, but also because you see the big picture, like you see, you see into the distance. So it's almost like you know that the authentic you is going to have a better chance at connecting and communicating than somebody that you're trying to be. Let's look at the extended reading and see what comes out. I almost have a feeling like this reading is going to be completely and totally different on the other side because this was there was a lot of ambiguity in this reading. So it could go many different ways. And we're also going to do the romance reading for you, Taurus. Okay, I will see you over there.